What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about I Know What You Did Last Summer, the Legacy sequel that's coming. Got an update on that finally. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about the Black Phone 2. And then we have one last thing to go over regarding Jennifer's Body 2 that came out today. Now starting off here with I Know What You Did Last Summer. We got an update on that sequel that came to us via Screen Rant a few days ago. Writer Lee McKendrick says, I think with Jen, my director, on I Know What You Did Last Summer, it's scarier if you're seeing it in the eyes. And when we're trusting our actors, because I love dialogue, I'm like, oh, look at this witty one-liner. It's going to be a meme. I'm all obsessed with the pop culture aspects of it and the zeitgeist, the zeitgeisty way that we could spread it. But I have to remind myself that sometimes less is more. And sometimes we just want the strongest moments to be in subtext. Trust your audience. They're going to get it. You don't need to spoon feed them. Now, I love those last lines there from her about spoon feeding viewers, because you absolutely don't have to do that all the time. If you're telling a cohesive story, Sinistealth also tweeted out recently about Freddie Prince Jr. being contacted despite saying otherwise. The belief is that he just wants more money. So we'll see what happens with this film going forward. Jennifer Love Hewitt again I still found it very strange she recently stated she would do it if she was asked but we had a report earlier that same year in 2023 that they had already been contacted so the fact that she said she would do it and never made a mention of the fact that they wanted her back for the sequel anyway that was a bit weird so hopefully Jennifer Love Hewitt comes back hopefully Freddie Prince comes back and somehow some way if Sarah Michelle Gellar can come back yes I know Helen is dead you don't have to have Helen alive was Skeet Ulrich not in Scream 5 and Scream 6 okay I rest my case jumping into Scream 7 Sinistealth has provided this update related to Scream 7 releasing in 2025, saying that Spyglass is still operating like Scream 7 will be a 2025 release. The producers do want to change the negative press, so my sense is we will hear about it pretty quick if anything major develops. They then echoed a tweet I put out about a new director, saying no deal yet, but a new director is in advanced talks, not Eli Roth. This person is particularly known for a cult classic that's very much the same flavor as Scream. It's a good choice. My best guess is, again, that it's someone responsible for a 2009 horror film. That's my own personal prediction going off the fact that they are saying it's a cult classic. So that's echoing my own best guess and just off of what I've heard that it has to be someone behind a 2009 hit horror film. That's just, again, my best guess. I don't know who it is exactly. That's just my best guess. <laughs> I also wouldn't be shocked if Spyglass starts hiding a lot of details due to Landon's horrible experience after Melissa was fired. Whether we think it should be happening or not, Scream 7 is not actively being canceled. It's just trying to get back on track after going into a ditch that could have been avoided. Yes, my preferred outcome still is that we get a movie with Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega. The core four story gets finalized, but if we cannot do that, Spyglass again is still going to do what they have to do having spent so much money to obtain the IP, they're going to try to make back their money's worth. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Scream 7 may or may not be a hit. We'll just have to wait and see because 2025 could end up turning into 2026. Time will tell if Scream 7 ends up being a hit or if it ends up being a bust for Spyglass. So we're going to talk about the Black Phone 2. So the Black Phone 2 will reportedly start filming on June 3rd. Scott Derrickson, we know, is returning to direct. Ethan Hawke is back as the grabber and so are his child co-stars that gave us one of the greatest sibling dynamics in 2022. Now, the information regarding it filming in June on the 3rd comes from product production list. For those of you who watched my Jeepers Creepers 4 coverage back in 2021 up until its release, you know I use production list for a lot of things such as tracking down the cast, tracking down the working title, and then help me track down the cast. And I was revealing things before they dropped stuff thanks to production list. My thing is that with the Black Phone 2, I love how the most fascinating aspect of this sequel so far is how will it work? Will the grabber be a Freddy Krueger like spirit stalking local kids? Will there be a copycat killer? How is Robin back? Robin was like the last spirit guide that appeared to Finney in the first film. So I expect he'll just be a spirit guide once again to some degree. Is Finney going to be the one that gets kidnapped again? Just so many different questions going into the Black Phone 2 in terms of how it's going to work and what's the narrative going to be. Um, the last thing we're going to talk about here is related to, well, actually, it's not the last thing. I'm going to talk about Terrifier 3 really quick. We got our first look at Art the Clown on set of Terrifier 3, it looks like. Looks better than ever. There's also an image that Lauren Lavera shared of her in New York. We know that the film is supposed to be shooting in New York. I've shared some details about the rumored plot and how she's going to be, Sienna that being, and Jonathan 
They're living with their aunt and uncle. The uncle t takes issue with Sienna after she has some sort of episode, thinks Sienna is going to be a liability that could harm their daughter. Sienna herself also takes issue with the cousin at question when the cousin discovers a journal entry that Sienna has been detailing about her being chained to a dark abyss. She does not like that her cousin finds this and she snaps at her, so to speak. Uh, but this was a nice first look image at Art the Clown for Terrifier 3. What do you guys think about this? Do you think he looks good? Do you think he doesn't look good? Why or why not? Last thing we're going to talk about here is Jennifer bo Jennifer's body too. So Diablo Cody wants to bring back Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried for Jen Jennifer's body too. This was been speaking with comic book. They said, I mean, I would love to bring Megan and Amanda back. That would be ideal. I want to go back to that world so badly that I've brought or that I've thought of various permutations that we could do. Like we could do a prequel. We could do a sequel. We could do a, a, a musical. No, no, no. Please don't do that. <laughs> and then she says, I'm or they say, I'm like anything anyone wants to do. I'm down. I just need to find the right partner. Previously, they spoke with Bloody Disgusting and said they just needed like a billion dollars or so. I think obviously a joke. I think they said they needed to find a billionaire. But it's nice to know that they still want to go back to this world. It's nice that they would ideally want to do it with Amanda and Megan once again. But I need to revisit Jennifer's body. I haven't watched it since last year, but I need to revisit it. I try to watch that once a year, honestly. Need to revisit it. I hope Jennifer's body too. Jennifer's body too can pick up some steam. Hopefully we can get that movie going and hopefully Diablo Cody can get their wishes fulfilled and they will get to do the long overdue sequel that it seems like they are dying to do. Would you prefer to see a sequel? Would you prefer to see a prequel? I wouldn't say I'm, I necessarily would prefer either outcome. I just don't want a musical. <laughs> Since they brought up a musical, that's the last thing I would prefer. I would much rather you just do a straight up sequel or a prequel and go from there. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And I will have another video up tonight just to talk about this director situation for Scream 7. I'll be posting that later tonight. Apologies for my voice. I am getting over a cold. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.